And you know, welcome why I got painted on part two here, man. I got a couple more insights on the concept of this particular, you know, persecutory dark man that I've gone through and witnessed throughout the years. And it's crazy, man, because um, it's so many different contingencies. I know I pretty much, I, I hit the nail on the head my last uh, record, my last recording, prophetic utterance. You know, that is, um, I know I hit the nail on the head then, man. And really, it's a situation, man, it's so, it's really pathetic, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, it's somebody's attempt to, to not only stoke confusion and contention, but to also to, you know, just take away people's greatness. You feel me? It's an, it's an attempt to take away people's greatness, man. It's a couple of people, you know what I'm saying? They they take, like, they explore things. It's like nitpicking, you feel me? Like, they take bits and pieces and find a problem with every little thing to take away somebody's greatness because they're intimidated by that person's success. You feel me? They are intimidated by a person's success. They feel inadequate at their talent, you know what I'm saying? So they have to find any little thing and nitpick with it just so to give themselves relevance you feel me to make themselves feel relevance and to make themselves feel like somebody and then from that hype and that wave of confusion they create by hating you know what i'm saying they, they use that in order to have success or to increase their reputation you know what i'm saying so it's a it's a it's a you know a pathetic but but sophisticated situation you know and so it's a whole lot of technicalities, though, man, that I feel have yet to be explored with this. A whole lot of unanswered questions. When you sit there and think about it, like, uh, you know, of course, I call them, call it the uh, mummy tape and this paint they got me on. You know what I'm saying? They got me wrapped in mummy tape that's painted over. You feel me? So, yeah, they really, really, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just think about it. <laughs> you know, they got me they got me wrapped up and painted over, man. I be like, get this paint off me. You feel me? Get this paint all off me, man. But they, they can't. You know what I'm saying? In spite of, you know, them seeing totally, you know what I'm saying, underneath that paint. Because I, I done ripped and straighted up the mummy tape, the paint, and everything. It ain't all the way off me, though. But, I mean, I got, like, God done, God done told like we done, beat it, we done beat it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all kind of part, uh, rips and holes all in it. The mummy tape, and it's like a dang cast. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. It's like they got you in the cast. You know what I'm saying? And But the thing is, with me, though, you know what I'm saying? It's something that it's due to an injury that they caused to a child. You know what I'm saying? For following the purposes of God. So that's the part. You know, that's the ironic. So that's just insult the injury, the uh, the cast. You know what I'm saying? That the quote unquote cast it created. And that's just uh it's a mold, man. That's what it does. It's a mold. And so I mean, it, you know, it's it, anybody can see up underneath that though, man. That it's 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 fabric, substance, and contents that was never before ever embraced. You know, unless people, you know, they try to like, you know, it's, you know how people do, man. You know, they, they and, and you know, that brings me to another thing. Like, that creates them a whole lot of revenue. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that you have to understand. When these influential figures, they find somebody to quote unquote pick on, you know, or, or you know what I'm saying? They join together against one person. That, that generates tons of revenue that they create. I mean, me personally, though, when somebody do me like that, it's dead after that. You know, I don't ever... For the rest of this lifetime, I'm good because I know you know they knew intentionally what they was doing, and so I mean, yeah. But that 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 gives like they can give people plenty of of hype, you know what I'm saying? And and in that ball of confusion, they can they can be influential. They can cause people to do a lot of stuff. You know, it's a whole lot that can come from that. They use it like a wave. They can ride it on. So they slander you, then they just follow it up with tons and tons of of you know. Um, more slander smear campaigns and then also it's like it's like it's an opportunity you know what i'm saying to exploit and gain a lot of a lot of income behind somebody's um you know quote unquote you know misfortune or humiliation you know despondency their desperation all of this happened and then when you when they when they pick somebody that don't even know what's going on you know what I'm saying? They prepare it for a while. You feel me? Like, it can be somebody that just, some some Joe Blow, you know, just somebody just out, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, just, just out on the limb, just unaware of anything. Then they can, they can, you know, they can see that person. Then they can, they can say to one person, like, oh, yeah, um, that person there is, uh, I don't know, that person is, that person stole some fruit out the, um, you know, the little, I don't know, fruit stand downtown or something. You know what I'm saying? They it can be somebody that's just thinking with you know they got nothing but dollar signs in their eyes. You feel me? And then they say they say something like that. Then the other person be like, really? And they be like, yeah. They I mean they never seen the person in their life. They don't even know the person. And then from there, you know, 
But in my case, just you know, to make it, I mean, I know it sounds weirder and stranger, but you know, they, that person could be like a child. You feel me? That person could be a child. But I mean, just for the, the nature of the circumstances, I'll stay with what this is. You know, and that's kind of like the situation. They can see somebody, and then they, before you know it, they get a whole gathering of people around that person, and then they follow in that person and fall crazy. Like this person took um, some oranges and some kiwis and, and squashes and carrots out the um, fruits and vegetable stands stole them and uh, you know what I'm saying and this person they, they, they can be sitting here watching this person got a good you know it's got you know this person can have honest income you know uh, church attending you know doing everything right they all sitting there watching it the whole time while they send it and so that's weird they can see personally you know they can see personally that uh person though you know they wouldn't have no need you know they, this person can just leave the supermarket man with a, a big basket full of fruits vegetables all kind of you know what I'm saying fruits vegetables and, and some you know rabbit meat and you know pork and all types of you know what I'm saying foods you know and so they can be watching that you know what I'm saying a person I mean they, you can see them working they got they say they they might they might even work at, actually work at the place you know what I'm saying the market or something downtown they can see all that and then they still saying the same things you know what I'm saying and before you know it they got hundreds you know what I'm saying or, or that's, that's with them with it and then everybody watching it and it's like yeah, this person um did this. This person just took some um cabbages yesterday from what you call what you call. This person has, this person is known as a thief, a thief now. You know what I'm saying? And the person don't even know it. You know, and they sitting there, the people who send it sitting there watching the person. You know what I'm saying? Make an honest living and things, and and you know just doing things the honest way. You know what I'm saying? Got taken care of with all obligations, doing everything the right way. You know, and whatever you know, whatever they do in their life. You know, uh, and then they they should be sitting there and they say, yeah, this person uh this and that. Got some um, lettuces and broccolis we ain't paid for them. And, you know, before you know it, you know what I'm saying? They can sit here and then they can, can see a person. You know what I'm saying? They, they watch, they stalk a person all the time, you know. From um, the market to the home. You know what I'm saying? They can see a person um, pretty much. And you get home, they see the person got their own garden. You feel me? Their own, their own garden at their house. You know, they grow their own broccoli, tomatoes, squash, lettuces, cabbages, onions. You know what I'm saying? They grow all their own uh, vegetables and fruits. And then they can, they can see that by stalking their house. So they see the garden right there. You feel me? They can see me looking at the garden. And then they see the person taking care of all this stuff. The person's still unaware of their presence, though, the whole time. You don't know or she don't know what they, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They're just handling their business. And then, you know, they, um, then, you know, then the next day, you know, the person can go out there in the garden, get some fruits and vegetables and things that they planted and grew and nurtured. And then, you know, go in the house and make some a vegetable stew, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. Some, you know, something, who knows, gumbo or, or whatever. And then that's, you know, they, they can they can see that, you know what I'm saying? And then the person leave, you know, go back to where they first saw them at. Yeah, be like, oh, yeah, this person here is um, known for, this person took some potatoes and, and things from the market um, yesterday or last week. And then, before you know it, they got hundreds of thousands of people that's around them with it, like, like there people, people with it. So they're like, yeah, this person known as a thief. Oh, oh yeah, all the all the, the uh, plants that they got in their garden. Yeah, they're not there. That's somebody else's plants and uh, vegetables. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a situation like that. You know, and, and that's how it works. And before you know it, they got people, you know, to that 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 will, you know, actually try to come for the life of the person, man. And then before you know it, they get enough courage where, you know, they 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 manip they manipulate so many people that they actually destroy you know uh, they go into that person garden eventually step on all the crops destroy it set it all on fire you know what i'm saying for you know it, they don't they burn the person house that person don't person come out only know what's going on you know it's just like a uh, uh, ever compounded by the time the person find out man it's like half of the whole world already you know looking at them as a thief you know what i'm saying or something like that you know and they just now like what you know what i'm saying and then they be like no you're just playing dumb no see that's the kind of situation so that's how you know it's antichrist and and it's a lot of whole lot of technicality with the situation man have yet to be you know embraced or pondered upon just like for my own life man it's a whole lot like my as far as like my identity my artistic identity and my craft you know it's a whole lot to be examined you know what i mean i don't feel no demon any cro i mean i don't feel no satanic cults or none of that man because the bottom line is they can't have my stuff and 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 so they use and you know while all that is happening you know let's go back to the to the, the um you know the, the whatever the um the scapegoat person you know okay while why they ram ram shacking this person's garden and fields and everything 
you know, they're actually the people that, that come. They actually go in there into the Persian Garden. They don't destroy all the crops. You know what I'm saying? They take, they take from the, you feel me? They take the best crops from, you know what I'm saying, the garden. And that's the kind of situation. They're, they're stealing the crops and things and destroying other things. They're stealing some stuff, they're destroying other things. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know. They don't have no knowledge inside, inside of nothing they're reaching. They're like, um, oh yeah, since Betty, Betty might have, um, uh, uh, I don't know, a, uh, um, uh, a spinach or an apple tree or spinach sprouts or Brussels sprouts or something in her garden down the street. Um, yeah, um, this person, let's destroy all the Brussels sprouts. You feel me? Because um, I don't know, she has Brussels sprouts, so we can't. You know, so this person can't have Brussels sprouts in their garden. So um, but oh yeah, but take take that Brussels sprout right there. That's ours. You know um, let's how about um, let's take that tomato and things. You know, somebody else has tomatoes um on the other side of town somewhere. You know, we don't. You know what I'm saying? They can't both can't have tomatoes in their gardens. You know what I'm saying? And, and let's let's first start address the fact that they don't even know this person. You feel me? They don't know this person at all, and they're doing this. And so you know, person, they, they take some vegetables and fruits, and then they destroy other ones, and then they be like, "Why are you destroying all the other fruits?" You know, if you ask them, they're like, "Well, those fruits right there were uh, pos yo, those were from Betty." You know, because Betty, I don't know, I think Betty said the word uh, tomato or, or uh, artichoke. You know last week and because betty said that you know this person here he can't have um artichokes and you know um brussels sprouts and you know he can't have the things betty might have had or said or, or frederick you know down the street there you know he had uh you know last time we we saw he had some asparagus and um he's actually mentioned the asparagus to me so you know this this mean this person here he can't have asparagus because uh he might say asparagus you feel me and, and you know it's been that kind of like situation and, and you know that's kind of like how it works you know they you know they so they ramshack the person garden they take they take things that they feel like is worth it things that's healthy things that they think beneficial and destroy other things to cover it up make it see how they, they destroy everything you feel me and while they actually take those Brussels sprouts and things that they took from their garden home to their own homes in their own kitchens and make and make delicious dishes of food and gumbo and things, you know what I'm saying? Out of out of you know what I'm saying, that person's garden and things. So that person comes back and see his, you know, everything is destroyed and everything. And then I mean there ain't really nothing you could do because they with the lies that they said, they got this person, people looking at this person as a thief, so you can't call or tell nobody because everybody that you could call already under the impression because they created such a massive distortion campaign and smear campaign with lies and things that they knew were lies before they said it. You feel me? So they got everybody and everything already against, you know, this person before they even know what's going on. But so when they see that happening, then they they naturally can't really, you know what I'm saying, communicate it because they already people are already looking at them according to the words of, of demons you know what i'm saying because demons are the ones that, that would do that kind of thing and that's how it goes you know uh and so it never you know and so from there it just like compounds and snowballs and before you know it when a person do find out you know everybody it got everybody attention on the right situation everybody seeing things the way it should be seen then they have no estimation for anything they did but they just there in your life and so it's like with all the damage there you know what i'm saying because they because of the damage that they did to your garden and things and you found out about it then you know they have um they they able somehow you know justified to actually go into you know your dwelling and, and they and they build pillars and trees and they say they, they build like a nest you feel me it's like a nest they put a nest in your house you feel me in your house they're allowed to in the eyes of, of the high parts of society because i guess because they intentionally misportray their image but i feel like when when somebody you know what i'm saying says something that that damaging to a person i feel like if you know if that person know at some point you know you able to put two and two together then you learn that you under attack with all this and then you later learn how they you know how they do and then a pattern with others and so you know you just you realize that it was others that was under that was that was watching the situation too you know what i'm saying in high positions there's there's obligation normally it would be to say that um it that say no nah, that's now nah, this person we, we're clearly seeing you know what i'm saying that this person here i mean what what motive would this person have to go taking you know what i'm saying all these vegetables and things like that when he got his own whole you know what i'm saying greenhouse and and massive you feel me whole massive um you know array of versatility and all types of um vegetables combination they go in there they see all types of vines you know they see um all types of seeds and and things from nature you know the hard way um they see all types of plows and, and soil fertilization and everything like now none of that matters um that was placed there you feel me this person 
got got um I don't know, let's say this person got you know uh I don't know all kinds of like exhibitions or something. They might have some type of you know, just for bragging rights, um you know, exhibitions for, for gardening or something like that. This person has let's say this person has all kind of rewards for that and everything, you know. When they go and they see that, then they like you know, oh, oh no, this is all this is all fabricated. They don't even know this person first time and they see all like no, this all uh, all these awards and stuff, they don't matter because we say that um that 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 Nancy down the street has, you know, um she has carrots, you know what I'm saying, in her garden. And she had and I think I overheard her say the word carrot one time before. So because of that, this man here who we don't know, but he he can't have carrots in his garden, in his house, you know what I'm saying, even though he has you know, uh, all these awards and and things that he, he that he made like he he actually pretty good at um pretty much nurturing fruit, you know, vegetables and, and actually has a um has actually a contract with the um supermarket down the street. You know what I'm saying or something like. So that don't matter though. It's just you know what I'm saying, and that's how they roll. You know what I'm saying. It's like it's a total no rationality or no rhyme, no reason, no anything to the substance of you know what I'm saying what they say. And do, but yet they're allowed to act on it. You know what I'm saying? Destroy on it. You know what I'm saying? They they burn a person. They they destroy this man's garden. You know what I'm saying? Homes, houses, on um, property, whole everything ransacked. You know what I'm saying? Burned it, everything, and the person still don't even know. You know what I'm saying? All he know, all he has, all they got is ashes. You feel me? Ashes and fragments. You know, they and they're not to mention with the person already because you know little did they know. You know, this is the third time that you know what I'm saying. Like like. This person been through like traumatic, you know, since you never know, like, you know, it could already have been, real, you know, in recovery. And this could have been something, you know, the gardening thing was all that he had left or she had left. And, you know, they take that. They have, they don't care. It's just the fact that, you know, I guess they, they was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, starting up a garden in their own um, lane or something. You know what I'm saying? They was thinking about that, but saying this person already had one flourishing and everything. Then that made him, you know, or her. You know what I'm saying? Like justifiable or eligible, you know what I'm saying, to have everything, all their crops, blooms, and all their hard work destroyed because, you know what I'm saying, they themselves feel inadequate or, you know, that they, they, or they're, they're not, you know, very confident in, in the garden of somebody that they know, you know what I'm saying, that's that, that they know, let's say, from a couple states over or something, a great friend or cousin or something, a brother or, you know, sister or something of them that has like a, uh, you know, has a a, a a pretty, you know, a pretty substantial, um, you know, field. You know, what I'm saying of of some fruits and things, but 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 it's more in this man's field. You feel me? Like his stuff looks healthier. You know, what I'm saying his stuff is more organic. You know, what I'm saying he, they know that their person or whoever that was that they um that they feel inadequate about. They know that person's um garden and things has some additives in it feel me they know that they added that that person has some additives and things that were not you know what i'm saying organic added to their fruits and stuff and it's still not looking good at this man's fruits you feel me this man's vegetables you know what i'm saying this man's garden this man's systems of you know agricultural you know what i'm saying aesthetics and things like so i mean they know that they, the person that they know you know what i'm saying had some had added some extra stuff in it you know, in order to accomplish the same results or get anywhere close to it. But they hype that up heavy, though, you know, around everybody else. They're like, well, uh, yeah, you know, what you call down the street got, you know, you know, my, my what you call got the best garden in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, nobody else who ever, you know, got a garden or anything don't deserve to have, you know what I'm saying? They, they can't, uh, we got, you know, nobody can't, we ain't letting nobody get near that. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna go throughout the world searching and seeking, you know, who we can find and falsely accuse and drop this on so we can be able to, um, you know, have out, have a reason or entry into that life to destroy that garden just to protect the reputation or image of somebody, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, maybe thousands of miles away that 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 that, that person don't even, you know what I'm saying, care about like they care about. And that's the kind of situation. So, I mean, I feel like that's kind of insecure, you know, for them to go to those such extincts, you know what I'm saying, just to have some type of, um, you know, just to have longevity, you know what I'm saying? That's that's not like that's weird. And so at the end of the day, you know, these people they, they already created a nest in this person's house, you know, um, or where their house was. They say they rebuild the house right there, and, you know, rebuild a garden and thing. There's a nest already in the spot, you know. They have them other people already done set up, you know, um, shop on that person's in that person's life against their will and without their knowledge and without their consent. 
you know what I'm saying, with lies and things being, you know, uh, you know, put out there ever so often just to keep that entry or, you know, that society deem them acceptable to be able to come in, on, you know, those pretenses, whatever. So then that person's life is ruined forever because, you know, be pretty good at, at, at growing fruits and vegetables. Got a green thumb, you feel me? So because of that, you know what I'm saying, they don't deserve life ever. And then they get start getting letters and things. You gotta leave. You gotta leave society. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You're not welcome here. Then you know. Then they say they see them go to church. Like now you're. You know what I'm saying? Because you're. You know, you're a Christian. Maybe. Maybe God. You know, bless the person's fruits and vegetables in their uh, garden. You know what I'm saying? They say. Um, yeah. You gotta go because. Um, you know. Nah. You can't have that. So God. God bless the person, but but you know that's antichrist. They, they. They. It's religion discrimination. You know they because God. Or they serve God and follow God in their everyday life. Every day they seen it, then that person's don't deserve to be, you know, under God while under God. You know what I'm saying? So it's been the it's been the, the same. You know, it's been like an insane, crazy situation, and they find ways to just like take and meddle with anybody's greatness, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they're so insecure with their own greatness. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's look at the uh, technicalities of it. You know what I'm saying? Like those that that's the most vocal about that. I mean, let's be like. Okay, what kind of rhyme? What kind of rhyme patterns? What you know about rhyme patterns? You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, poets. Let's let's go in detail. Let's learn. Tell me about the um, different aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? Not just A B aesthetics, because that's what most most artists. You know what I'm saying? Or, or people like when it comes to like in a, in a poetic rhyming situation. You know what I'm saying? Which is what I specialize in because that's my talent. I love literary arts. I don't have to rhyme. I just like to. Just like lounge it to me. You know, so it's like, okay, what you know about like rhyming aesthetics? And see, that's when they draft in people, cause, cause, see, it's like, it's like, it's like they are so cowardly. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they pick fights with these people. You know what I'm saying? And then try to put them up against other people, the cat paw, other people that to, to, to fight their battles for them, cause they cowards. You feel me? But they create and pick fights with people and bully people that don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? But they not even on the same wavelength in the first place so that in itself turn it into what they trying to turn it into you feel me so they, that's coercion it's like they trying to draft you into their reality that you have nothing to do with to destroy you with it and then the whole thing is is openly allowed it's like it ain't really no no branch or structure that's assigned to prevent against that kind of thing it's like literally nobody there you know what i'm saying to protect a blameless person that's not living evil that's not violence you know what i'm saying that's not a hater not demonic and not and don't do evil you know but only follow god it ain't like no formal entity there to be like okay you know um, look out for this person because this person got some ins obsessed insane you know what i'm saying they ain't got fan patrol you feel me and you need mammon to do that so if they're attacking your sustainability you know what i'm saying which is your garden your fruits and things for you know it you know they, they had the market you feel me they had the market of they done went to the, the the owner of the market and you know they 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 had the owner of the market's house straight in their life you feel me just because that person um is good at growing you know vegetables and fruits you feel me they don't want people to know that this person has a contract with the supermarket you feel me because that because then that that would show that all it would tell all those hundreds of thousands of people they they food that um yeah something ain't right because you know if this man if this man, you know, um, if this person stealing fruits and vegetables and their garden sucks and everything, then they definitely wouldn't have no contract with this, uh, you know, very, very successful, you know what I'm saying, supermarket program, you know, thing, you know, to where they actually taking the fruits and vegetables straight from their house, you know what I'm saying, to the supermarket like that. And then it actually, from there, is, you know, it, it continue to make happiness and spread through our lives and create good for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That would not be possible. You feel me? If that wasn't true, so I mean, if that was true, then that would not be. A, so I mean, you know, why I paint it all? <laughs> Greatness, man. Some some just feel inadequate. You feel me? But I mean, I'd be like, I'd be like, tell, take all this paint off me. You feel me? Get this paint off me. You feel me? <laughs> but that's how we go, man. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy. That's why I was painted all, man. And anybody else. That's who they with it. You know what I'm saying? They be in the same situation. And you know, that's how it is, man. Because any artist or anybody who, who who creates, you feel me? Who creates knowing that they creates great ideas and everything, they know. You feel me? And it ain't nothing more, no more, no nothing more disrespectful than you know to have somebody, you know, lie on your stuff to be in order to be able to steal it. But but it's it's so common to like society though in a weird way it's so common to like it's like it's like 
up to the land is very common. It's like the weight of the land. You feel me? They lie on your stuff to be able to use it, to be able to have it, to be able to steal it. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get down. And that's like a pattern we've seen every century, to be honest. But I ain't taking it there. But I'm saying, like, if you wanted to, you could look at it and you could tell that it's some, it's, it's a connection right there, you know, between that. You know, they lie on you and be able to steal your stuff some kind of way. And that's how it is, man. It's a constant type of situation, you know. Uh, but I'll be like, yeah, man. It's just common sense go out the window with these kind of things. You feel me? So you have to explain things that, you know, that you normally, that a regular person would literally understand naturally. And you have to spend over seven years explaining it. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, common sense things virally. So you have to spend all that time explaining a simple thing, you know what I'm saying, to everybody. Because nobody understands, like, I don't know, it's just like all sense just goes straight out the, the, you know, the world, like out society. You know, I've seen it's the weirdest thing ever, man. It's like everybody just lose all understanding for any any type, any art, any type of, um, you know, law. You know what I'm saying? Everybody lose understanding of any kind of law, any kind of art, and any kind of, um, you know, anything in the Bible. You know, those things... Are just totally like just out you know what i'm saying nobody understands anything you know committed to misunderstanding it you know what i'm saying for over seven years and that's how the situation you know so they don't understand you know how it's, it's likely that somebody that you know what i'm saying has their own contract with a supermarket you know what i'm saying or they or they got tons of different you know uh all all types of successful garden accolades and you know things like that you know um valuable you know pristine things that's um ballot, you know, real, you feel me? And um and you see right rightfully so, you know, with the amount of prosperity that they have from that, you could imagine that they wouldn't have to wouldn't have to go around stealing nothing because they got they got their own, you know what I'm saying, factory and business, like they own, you know what I'm saying? Like and, and it's clearly visible for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And not to mention this person already got like about you know, about could be about, you know, seven to twelve you know, other business, um, you know, opportunities and things of the same kind, you know what I'm saying, because of their talent, you know, and then that's also could be common knowledge in public, so it'd be people that know that too, they like, no, nah, this person, this and this person got this and they'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, you, uh, you can't say that, you can't say that, you gotta say that this person um, is this and that, you feel me, and that's this kind of situation, like, you gotta say that this person is this and that, um, or, you know, Oh, we gonna turn against you. You feel me? We gonna take your life and take it. We gonna start attacking you if you don't, if you don't, um, you know, slander this person with us and things. And that's how it goes. So it be it's a satanic cult, and then they constantly compound on that whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Indefinitely, however long it take to erase a person's, you know, whole life legacy, everything. But yeah, man, it's a deep situation. But they try to like take people's success that they did not give them, just so they can use it and make money off it. You feel me? It's sophisticated theft. And that's why I be like, man, they, they, I mean, as far as like me, my likeness and things like that, had my energy, you know, all of that had been schemed on for years. You know what I'm saying? Over 20, like from the 23, you know what I'm saying? Over, I mean, like it's been like for 22 to 23 years already. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 26. Now, you feel me? So that's the situation. Like, so I mean, it's like, it's a weird, weird, weird situation, man. And they constantly be trying to find some kind of way, you know, to, to sabotage it. Your life make it worse. And they got no reference for God. They want you to be what they want you to be. So it makes it easier for their framing and stuff to work. And it makes them look better. You feel me? So they try to conform you into the image that they want people to see you as so it looks better for them to do you how they go how they do you that they know you don't deserve to go through or they don't deserve you know what i'm saying no reason for them to do you like that but they they want they want clout from that you know but nobody in their right mind would give you know what i'm saying you know what's inauthentic you know what i'm saying any kind of like you know i mean what award Recognition, you know what I'm saying, for something so inauthentic, you know. Well, uh, you know, with the, with the parable, man, it's a whole lot that can, that you can factor in, like the fact that you know this person clearly shows no uh, signs of, 
you know, said or knowledge of, of their, their existence or, you know, not even living a life according to the reality that they built with falsehoods and spread it, you know, throughout far and wide, who knows where. So it's a weirdest situation, you know. They hate God, man. And so it's like because of, of the frames and scams that somebody else said, you know what I'm saying, you have to just accept that in spite of the, you preventing it, you know what I'm saying, not long after it first started. You know, you have to accept that or they threaten war. You know what I'm saying? They threaten war, even more war, you know, things that you can't defend yourself against, you know, on top of what they've already declared on you. You know what I'm saying? Like personally, for a duration, a long time and secretly, and, you know, it's stealthily, it's things that's in the Bible, in Psalms, you know what I'm saying? The same things what my life exactly been, you know what I'm saying? So the whole time it already been war on you, but now when, air, when the whole world can see it, everybody see it, then it's like, it's possibility that, you know, somebody could like, you know, it's just, it just strange, man. You know, it's very strange. But it's all I know, you know, as life. But it's crazy. I try to like, pretty much do like a, you know try to conceptualize it you know so give like a better understanding of why or how you know like what's really going on here and that's what it is it's like you know it's you know, you know i mean the situation is not one like as far as like the persecution and the false accusations and things it's not really nothing that a foundation can be built on but like that when when mammon if somebody start making mammon off the just the you know, bull crap. You know, it's like it's false bases and stuff. They can make mammon off it. Then the fact that it's unsubstantial has no. It don't even matter. You feel me? It's like it don't even matter if it's true or false. If they get paid from it, then it's good enough. You know. And so that's how it is, man. They can make a lot of people can benefit from the downfall of God, from the downfall of the Lord, or the perceived it. But all they did was really just threw down humanity. Feel me? And counsel out a restoration of God. Thus, just like God thought it was going to do. God said that this would happen. He predicted everything perfectly. He predicted the spread of um, you know, the darkness, and he predicted everything that's that'll come as a result of this. So God, you know, I mean, God had already knew this was gonna happen. He knew the devil would never let that happen. So I mean situation, man. Heavily persecuted. Why they painted on me? I know this was kind of lengthy, but I'm and I still have it like pretty, pretty, you know, fully, you know, put the, you know, put the um whole concept down the way I want to. You know, I just pretty much made it easier to understand. But that's um, you know, just just a parable, like you know, why you be painted on sometimes, you know, and then they constantly they they build a nest in your life. To keep an eye on you To make sure that you don't make no more good precious fruits You know what I'm saying If they see your garden starting to grow or take off good When you're not around Then they start sprinkling poison You feel me In the roots In the garden You know what I'm saying They start plowing and digging up stuff And then you think it's animals doing it You know what I'm saying They start You know what I'm saying Spraying weed killers and stuff On good You know what I'm saying Good You know um, Good functioning fruit You know what I'm saying plush fruits and, and and fields and you know good like genuinely good stuff you know what i'm saying there's, there's nothing like anything that they come out of their mouth they start spraying weed killers and you know insecticides and things like that to destroy you with you know when you're not around when you're not there and stuff you know what i'm saying or when you're there sometimes they just already did it so it's still killing so you watering and you wonder why it's not growing no more and then they're lying they use that to say that oh yeah it's not growing because you know you're not a good gardener you feel me you're not a good plant you're not you don't have a green thumb you thought it was you feel me and that's, that's like a compounded thing so the bottom line is they got a nest in your life and they're able to keep an eye on you to make sure that your broom your blooms and things don't don't grow just because they felt intimidated or inadequate by your success or they felt afraid for how people would perceive you know their friends uh, or somebody's um you know contribution or, or garden you know when they know that that everybody will see the attitudes you know that with attitude this person did better without attitudes you feel me or things like that and so that's how it goes man why i got painted on 
Because <laughs> I was great. Me and many others. <laughs>